Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how you can use a gamepad uh, with EQ ASCOM. To help me along with this demonstration, I've written a little application here that, that monitors my own gamepad, so you can see what buttons I'm pressing uh, on the screen. Uh, so if I move my gamepad joysticks around, you can see they move. If I press the various button, you can see little red dots appear to tell you what's being pressed. Um, okay, and there's also the uh, point of view control. Right. Uh, to manage the gamepad configuration, we have to press this this spanner button here. And that brings up a whole new window. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, EQ Ascon will work with any gamepad that is recognized by Windows. Uh, if you've got multiple gamepads uh, connected to your PC, and who knows, you may have, um, then they'll appear in this list down here, and you can tell EcoAsgon which one you wish to uh, associate with your mount control. I've got it on auto select at the moment, it's just going to pick the first one that, that it finds, and I've only got one, so that's fine. Um, the other thing to note down here is uh, the game po gamepad support uh, checkbox. If I disable this, then uh, EcoAsgon is, is going to ignore any input from the gamepad. Um, that's perhaps you don't want things accidentally being nudged or, or, or you have a good reason why you, you want to disable the gamepad. Uh, you, you would do it there. Okay, the other thing to look at perhaps is, is calibration. Most uh, joysticks uh, on gamepads are, are self-calibrating. I've, I've certainly that's what I've found in, in my experience but occasionally you come across uh, some devices that aren't self-calibrating in case you need to calibrate them um, you can calibrate e either way it, it does no harm um, and to do that you simply press the button that says start calibration and then as you can see down here uh, you just move the sticks around to their the full extremities of their movement uh, until these numbers cease changing and then when that's done you, you click the done button um, this is what you'd expect from a self calibrating uh, joystick the, the values go between 0 and 65535 if it's not a self calibrating joystick you'll probably find you've got other numbers in here um, ok to assign the buttons which is uh, I guess what most people want to do is is fairly easy. You, you simply click on uh, the function that you wish to change. So if we wanted to change that, uh, we press the button that we want to assign to it, and it changes. Now, as you see, this one here has turned yellow, and that's because I've assigned button 5 to this function, and button 5 was already assigned to something else. Now that's not necessarily an error condition. Uh, if I leave this as it is, and I'll do this working in the moment, what that means is whenever I press button 5, the uh, right ascension rate will increase, as will the declination rate. Um, so it's perfectly valid to have one button doing two different things, um, depending on what those functions are. But it, it is warning you that that button is already assigned, so you, you have to make a mental check of what you're doing is sensible. Um, okay, I'm going to change that one as well. To remove uh, an assignment, you simply right-click on it. Okay, so to assign something, you just press your button to right-click it. Uh, to remove it, you use the mouse and right-click. You can see the point of view controls, that's these ones down here. This is arranged as effectively eight separate switches. And you can, by, by default, they slew in, in, in the, the mount in, in the directions you would expect. But you can assign them to other functions if, if, if you wish. I mean, it's not a terribly 
easy thing to use this um, but if you need it there are eight separate uh, buttons effectively available via the point of view control one thing to watch out with, for with the point of view control is a lot of gamepads have a mode button um, at the moment as you can see if you look at the gamepad monitor moving or pressing those switches uh, results in these um, point of view switches being made uh, if I change my mode button moving the same buttons actually results in, in the joystick being reported as, as being changed and you don't get any feedback from those, those eight switches um, so if you want to use the point of view uh, buttons you need to make sure your uh, mode control is in the right state if, if your uh, hardware has one actually change the side here right there so okay right I was just going to show you that uh, what I did with the, the, the slew controls here that assigning one button to two functions actually works uh, if I apply those changes you'll see that if I press the one button I'm now getting two actions occurring it's incre incrementing uh, right ascension and declination slew rates now personally I, I don't use uh, buttons for slew rates in this way I, I prefer to have buttons that change the slew presets uh, so I'll show you how I would prefer to do it there's two ways you can either change the preset with two buttons or you can have a button for each preset I'll, I'll show you both um, so if we were to increment the preset I'll assign but button 5 to that and button 6 to that apply the changes so if you watch these two buttons here as I click them Okay. Uh, now that's one way of doing it, and obviously it only uses two buttons. Uh, what I prefer to do is actually something different, and that is to assign a rate to uh, uh, one button to each rate. So rate one I put as button five, rate two button six, rate three button seven and rate 4 button 8 apply the changes and now if you watch these buttons I, if I press that it will go to rate 1, rate 2, rate 3, rate 4 so we're already on rate 1 so rate 2 rate 3 rate 4 rate 1 yeah. it's just personal choice uh, some people will prefer to use this uh, presets some people would prefer to um, change the, the, the slew rates individually and you know you, you can do it whichever you like okay let's see if there's anything else to talk about um, looking at it not really no that's uh, pretty much all there is on there if you want to get the defaults back at any time you just hit the defaults it puts it back as it originally was and uh, to action it you have to click apply changes as you've already seen me do okay that concludes this demonstration